Hi, I'm Stuart Goldsmith. I'm the product manager at LexisNexis and I want to talk to you briefly here about the power of data in predicting cancellations. So we're looking to identify and also measure um, which attributes and, and how, by how much they predict cancellations in the future. So we define a cancellation as being a policy that ends before the intended term. And that can be led by the customer themselves, or it could be the insurer or the broker who's made the decision to cancel early. It could be the timing of cancellation could be early or late. And it could be a new business cancellation. So that means it happens um, within the first year of being with a brand new insurance provider, or it could be in year two or three or four of cover with an insurer. And cancellations are a real market problem. The main reason that they cost money, and that could be for marketing costs or bad debt, or administration costs, or just the lost ability to recover a premium for the full year because you don't get the full, the full year's money. And not all those costs can be recovered from the customer or from the aggregators. Cancellations are also indicate a higher claims risk. So notwithstanding the cost of cancellations themselves, they can actually lead to higher claims. And they've also correlated with uh, fraud cases that we've seen when we run retrospective analyses for many insurers that we've worked with. So to find the scale of the problem, the number of policyholders in the UK in terms of the number of cancellations they've had in the last five years is significant. It really is wide scale. So we've got five million people in the UK have had at least one cancellation. Then 1.4 million people have had two cancellations. And there's a hardcore of 800,000 policyholders who are on cover right now that have had three or more cancellations. And it doesn't matter what size of book you are and how safe your book is, in, in general claims terms, we've seen in our retrospective analyses we've run for many, many clients, we've got between 10% cancellations on, on a very safe book and 31% cancellations on another. So everybody is impacted by this. And in terms of when new business cancellations occur, 15% occur within the first one to 15 days of inception. Second level is 37% happen between 16 and 100 days. And almost half, so that's 48%, happen between 101 days and 364 days. And it's not necessarily what you would expect. I personally expected a lot to happen in the early period, in that cooling off period, but it shows that cancellations happen across all times of the year. And what's the impact on your business? Well, I've given you an example here of a book size of 100,000 policies. And imagine that you had a 5% cancellation rate. And imagine as well, or assume that if the average cost of a cancellation is anything between 25 and 75 pounds per cancelled policy, so times that by the 5,000 cancelled policies, and that's a total cost of between 125,000 to 375,000 pounds per year. And that will vary tremendously on the size of your book, the size of the cancellations and the cost, but it just illustrates the kind of impact that it can have is a significant amount of money and insurers and brokers should work through this kind of calculation yourselves to see how it applies to your own business. But how best to mitigate or minimize these, can these cancellation costs? And we at LexisNexis believe data is the, uh, is the way that we can really help this. And in the research that follows, we asked ourselves the following question. What factors increase the probability that a person will cancel their insurance and by how much is a critical thing? And the key thing to think about here is it's exactly the same principle as measuring for claims or for credit risk. We're looking for that. What's the probability level that someone will cancel as opposed to claim or have a credit, cha have a credit challenge? So we took the following research approach. We took a sample of new business policies from historical, from the past. We then ran a retrospective analysis of that across many of our insurance data products like policy insights, risk insights, and quote intelligence. And we then were in those attributes, we were looking for the cancellation relativity. And by that, I simply mean the number of cancellations that we've seen in terms of frequency and when those cancellations take place. So with that, we then came up with a number of attributes that were really predictive of future cancellations. So we took the best of those, built a cancellation model with those attributes, and then split that into 10 equal size deciles. So if the sample size was 1 million, 100,000 uh, policies in each decile. And then we ranked them from the cancellation risk from high to low. So in the highest risk decile, we found we had double the cancellation rate compared to the average book. And for the best decile, the safest decile, if you like, we found they had less 
than half the rate of cancellations in the first 30 days. And now I just want to take you through just a few details of specific attributes, just to give you a flavor of how this works. So this one, I'm showing you the number of cancellations in the last five years. And you can see the trend. For those that have zero on the left-hand side, they are slightly less likely than the average to have a cancellation, as you would expect. But then it moves smoothly upwards in terms of people have had one cancellation, two or three. The risk of cancellation increases throughout and basically proves the theory that if you had a cancellation in the past, you're more likely to cancel in the future. And the, more, the higher number of cancellations that you've had, the more likely you're to cancel in the future itself. And this is an example from Risk Insights. And this is the total number of positive Risk Insights indicators. And a positive indicator is a presence on the electoral roll or the presence on our voter policy history database. In short, the more history we have on you, the better um, your reputation, frankly, in terms of cancellation risk. And as you can see here, if we've got no history on a person, the risk is extremely high. It's almost two and a half times the average risk. What I also want to draw your attention to here is the red oval, because that's highlighting the size um, of market that this takes into account. So these three things here are all more likely to cancel. So that's people who've got zero, one, or two pieces of positive indication. And they are 30%, that's 30% of the total book, are more likely to cancel. And that's significant because these people are not just going to be, well, they're not necessarily a credit risk or a claims risk because those stats are far lower. But it shows you that people who aren't those risks can, all, can still be at risk of cancellation. And the final example is from our Quote Intelligence product. And this is about the number of days between the initial quote and the policy start date. And as you can see on the left, if you quoted on the same day that your policy was due to start, so you've left it right to the last minute, you're twice as likely to cancel as the average book, average on the book. Whereas if you left it several days before, so you quoted several days before cover was due to start, you are far less likely to cancel. So what can you do with these insights you know, once you've understood them? So in terms of turning this into something practical that you can use at point of quote, in the field, in real life, here's what you can do. The first thing is to screen out the most undesirable cancellation risk, the highest risks of cancellation, the most egregious examples. Simply screen them out. You don't want to take these people on cover. Secondly, you can use the cancellation risk to lower or raise premium based on the level of cancellation risk that someone shows. And it just means that you can make your business or your book of business, I should say, um, a higher quality book of business that's more accurate pricing and is, gives you a competitive advantage, therefore, in the industry. And in terms of what you can do next, right now, you could run with LexisNexis on a cancellation uh, retrospective analysis, and we could show you all the different attributes in terms of how well they predict cancellations for your book of business. And then armed with that information, you can take that into the field and start making selection and pricing decisions on the basis of their cancellation risk. Thanks very much.